One of the best examples of experiential learning for us is this. It's our international consulting program. So what we do, this is over the summer, we tell our students, you're gonna work on a consulting project. And these are live projects. So over a three week period in Richmond, we get our students together, we give them a dilemma. It can be from anywhere. It can be from CarMax, it can be from Junior Achievement, it does not matter. And they work on it, and they have to present to the executives of the respective areas. That's one phase of it. But we also invite students from Mexico, from Greece, and I'm sure leave one out, Spain, Spain, to come work with our students. So it is like a rally there. You know, you got all these different cultures, they don't get along at first, they gel, and it makes a tremendous activity for our students, and they solve the dilemma for these businesses in Richmond. So that's act one. So you think it's over, they're really good, they've really bonded, they can solve problems, they can be creative, they can be innovative, they can use all their analytic skills, they've done all those things. Then we ship them away for two weeks to do the very same thing in a foreign country. You know, I always get a little nervous at their send-off celebration. We just put them through three weeks of intensive training here in Richmond, where they've been introduced to new subject matter, asked to participate with their colleagues in a formal business setting. Their team environment can be very difficult, not only from the people, from the different cultures as well. It always gives me pause to think the very next day they'll be stepping on a plane, heading to Prague, Athens, Cordoba, London, or Guadalajara. The logistics are daunting. We have to find a place for our faculty and our students to stay. We have to stay in constant contact with our university and industry partners. We have to form really meaningful dilemmas for our students to work on. To make sure that everyone's adequately trained to act like a consultant, deliver on their promise for those dilemmas. They come back 10 feet tall. They really do. Their confidence level is through the roof. And it's a tremendous thing. Again, learning by doing is something that is so important to us, and that's, what we're, that's a great example of it. Just remember, creativity at work, it works for all of us.